Ma perché ti sei fermato? C'è il semaforo rosso. Ah, Gustav, ma ancora non hai capito? In Italia la segnaletica la devi interpretare più un suggerimento, non è, capito, un'imposizione. Hi there, Art. This is Nicholas Casimir here with Gustav and Luca. So, how did this idea come about? Well, it basically happened uh, traveling with Suddenly Last Winter around the world. Um, we realized that everywhere we went, we, uh, we met Italians of our generation, but like brilliant, young, very well educated guys. And um, like us. I was going to say, wow! <laughs> we traveled, they, they were living there. <laughs> so, like, even in the most remote place in Finland, we would uh, meet uh, Italians. Right. And, uh, and then at the same time, talking but to the tourists, foreigners... But not tourists, I mean, not tourists. I mean, Italians who decided to quit their country in, or, in order to... Realize what they would like to do. Yes. And, and, and at the same time, we realized that abroad, um, whenever you told, uh, tell people about Italy, they think of Italy of the past, you know, the glorious uh, past, the Fiat 500, uh, the, co the coffee, uh, pizza, you know, all these cliches. On the one side or on the other side, they only thought about Berlusconi, saying everything was bad. So um, that's how the idea started to make a film in order to update, uh, to make Italy reloaded. Gustav, io non c'entro, non posso pensare di fare tutto il viaggio così. Cioè, come ti è venuto in mente di prendere questa vecchia città? Ma dobbiamo, dobbiamo centrare, vedrai che c'entri. Cioè, vi deve essere un viaggio reale. Ma un viaggio reale, ma in treno, Gustav. Oppure... Ma in treno non è la stessa cosa. Well, the premises of the film essentially is whether you should stay in Italy, in Rome, uh, when your lease is up in your apartment, or move abroad, perhaps, to Berlin. Was this a real dilemma that you were seriously oh, yes. entertaining? Okay. Yeah. I mean, when you can't identify yourself with your own country, it gets really hard. Yeah. You know, you, you, you ask your, every day when you open the newspaper, you read uh, uh, the government uh, saying something very homophobic, uh, a new law against immigrants. You know, you see this, all these things happening there. What am I doing here? Ich bin ein Berliner. Ich, ich bin Ein Berliner. Wunderbar. So, what was the appeal to both of you to go to Berlin? Well, uh, Berlin for... I mean, it's, it's a gay capital. That's uh, one part of it. And I, um, I think it's also because Berlin, um, when it uh, became, uh, again, capital of uh, Germany, it's really been shaped by, uh, by our generation. So it's the place where uh, the young people from all over Europe moved to because the rents uh, were and still are uh, cheap. And they were able to, to do what they wanted to do and really gave uh, the mark of our generation to, to a city. And I think uh, that's, that's why Berlin, Berlin stands for, for that. But for uh, Italy, I think it was a step forward that uh, we made a film where we are a couple, mm -hmm. but that wasn't the issue. So uh, we take it for granted mm -hmm. and as people identify with us um, anyway. So mm -hmm. and we decided to do it in that way because we've done the film about uh, the gay issue, the gay rights with the previous film. So this time we said, okay, we've done that. This time we have to move on. But still we, we uh, are the main protagonists and we are a couple. Veramente incredibile come a 500 metri dalla bruttezza c'è la bellezza assoluta. Eh ma l'Italia è così giusta. Is that a challenge to work together? Is it a bit of a migraine? Is it is it fun or is it kind of awful at times? I think all it's a mixture of, yeah, of all fun, of this. It can be tough. It can be a lot of discussions because we both have a strong uh, character. Like some screaming, no, I don't want to put my name on this film if you are doing it like that. Bye! <laughs> I will never. <laughs> now, how did you two meet? In a, In a foyer of a theater 13 years ago. Are you serious? Wow, what movie? <laughs> no, no, I was. 
a, a play. A play. It's okay. A, a Genesis. It's called like <laughs> so Genesis. Beginning. Yeah. Biblical. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So it was uh, six hours long, and it had uh, three breaks. And so uh, at the beginning, we met in the foyer, just like looking, uh, spotting at each other. Then at the first uh, break, uh, we started to chat. At the second break, we exchanged numbers. And after the third break, um, you had sex in the bathroom. No, not yet. Uh -huh. uh, uh, that was only two days after when, <laughs> when, when, he, when he moved to my place. He he came to your place. Not no, moved. no, he moved. I, I moved. I came and then and, and then he moved. Yeah. You know, he was living with Mama. <laughs> <laughs> you were a total Italian boy, Italian, you know, we do... I saved him, I saved him. the age of So, 40. how old were you when you guys met up? I was 20, 22. <laughs> that's okay, that's and I was 27. That's mean that now I am 40 and he's 30, 36. <laughs> Not yet, next week. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm basically his driver and... Uh, <laughs> He has no credit card, so uh, you know that he, I, I, he has to. <laughs> <laughs> so he went from from mama to the wife. <laughs> wow, that's great. No, he's not that extreme. Well, congratulations on the film. I, I think it's, you're going to get a lot more awards, and it's you guys are charming in the film, so it's pretty awesome. Only in the film. <laughs> Only in the film. <laughs>